that can literally be stock footage. <laughs> I mean, this looks like I mean I'm not wrong. For three years yeah. and this so let's see, let's see. Let's see this. <laughs> they fought for it for three years and lost. Now residents in a Fayetteville neighborhood can only stand by and watch as a 100-bed federal prison halfway house is constructed near their backyards. Oh, my God. They fought against it for years. And they lost a 100-bed federal prison halfway house built in their backyard. Let me tell you, man. Um. That's going to be a problem, man. Man, that's uh, right off of Bragg Boulevard, too. That's a, that's a bad neighborhood, right? Oh, yeah. That yeah, ain't that's good. Where they usually put them. That's where they usually put them. I mean, but that this makes it worse because these guys, they, these guys were in prison for a reason. Like, these guys weren't, like, in prison because of um, institutional racism. These guys, these are federal prisoners. These guys were in prison for reasons, and now they're home. And now they're in this terrible neighborhood and they're not really supervised until they're in, they have curfews would have to be back. But during the day, they're just out there. Ah, um, and this is, this is a privately funded halfway house. Wow. Dismissed charities will move forward with controversial halfway house in Fayetteville. Wow. These people, these, these wolves. Isn't this what they wanted, though? Defund the police? Uh, free my brothers? Yep, they getting it. Because this right here. This is this dangerous. Is, yeah. I mean, it's oh, yeah. dangerous. Because never forget all your sex offenders. Yes. All your violent Oh, people, yeah. They're going to be, and, not, and I'm quite sure in the neighborhood, they have the schools. They have young children. This And, and these are the people they voted for. This is what they wanted. So now you got it. And they're going to be milling around all day, and just hanging and standing. And they won't be out at night, though. That's the good part. But And see, this is when they said police reform and criminal justice reform. See, this is when people then ask the questions, what do you mean? How do you define that? This is their definition like this. of it. This is what it looks like. Yep. This is what it looks like. It and these like this, this these halfway houses they won't be built in the neighborhoods of your district attorneys, your senators or congressmen. Hell won't be no. built in the neighborhood of the judges who release them. It's going to be built right in your backyard. So they're going to be stalking your wives, your girlfriends, your children, and coming into your house. Yep. Keep in they mind you voted for, for three years it, and lost. Now residents in a Fayetteville neighborhood. They're on the they're on the side of the biggest hoe and drug stroll in Fayetteville. Yeah, it's it's just it's just, it's just throwing gasoline. On Can the only problem. stand by and watch as a 100 bed federal prison halfway house is constructed near their backyards. WRL Fayetteville reporter Gilbert Bay spoke with residents who still have concerns about this project. Well, I'm standing on Kane Road, and when we did the story about a year ago, this was a wooded area. But as you can see, it's been cleared, and they've started construction on that federal prison halfway house. And the folks who live in that apartment complex back there say that's not good news. We have children that live right here. There's a school right down the street. You know, so, and, and who's to say they won't jump the fence? Faye Council has lived in these apartments on Tally Drive for nine years. But now the wooded area that used to bump up to her backyard is being replaced with a halfway house for inmates released from federal prison. I have a window right here. My bedroom is right there. So I don't know what their, um, what they went to federal prison for. But what if it's something that they might want to do again, break in someone's house or molest somebody? I don't know. It's funny how black women become so clear like this shit. When this shit comes, when this shit comes right to their doorstep, then it's oh, any other time they're fucking morons. But it's got to come from outside. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not anything from inside. It's got to be something that comes from outside. She sounds so reasonable. Hit, hit one if you're shocked at like how if you like if you if this is just a rare thing to see a sister one of these news stories. Be so reasonable and thoughtful and well um, thought out, well spoken, just well rounded and just 
<laughs> like they're never like this on these issues. They're always they're fucking that IQ of fucking monkeys talking about these issues using the now it's right at her backyard, literally. Salute to Boy Jesus. That is literally in her backyard. And oh, well, I mean, like, what? Are, who knows what they went to federal prison for? I mean, uh, I mean, what if it's something they want to do again? Uh, like, wow, unbelievable. It's released from federal prison. I have a window right here. My bedroom is right there. So I don't know what they're, um, what they went to federal prison for. But what if it's something that they might want to do again, break in someone's house or molest somebody? I don't know. You know, it, I don't think it should have been put right there. Earlis Dove agrees. He's lived off Cane Road for 40 years. His view of the halfway house will be blocked by trees, but he knows it's there. He and other residents fought to stop its construction in 2019. They won, but the state court of appeals reversed a superior court decision that denied the special permits needed for its construction. I pray we're thin and say to myself, God, I hope nobody don't come out here, uh, come down here and really be a madman or either a, a person that's Say, say they're sick of living that way inside they want to break out we're told there will be room for 80 male and 20 female inmates the last stop for offenders before they make their way back into the civilian population so what does this mean for people like fake counsel it's time to move that's <laughs> that, the editor on that one was just right on time they had that they had that they just had that on deck, ready to go. So he should have a, moved the first time they uh, they even heard of this. So it's official now, AP. These we, these sisters are not morons. We can ex we should we're not idiots for expecting them to have some goddamn sense when they talk about these issues, right? Correct. There's no excuse. When when, when when that shit drops in her backyard, she's turns into fucking Candace Owens. But okay. whenever we tried to warn them about this, that this is exactly what they were talking about and this is exactly what happened, you will shout it down and you call crazy, uh, racist. You hate, you hate yourself. Uh, you just want to lock up black men. You don't understand. But this is what we told them. And like once again, whose community is going to be affected by this? Yeah, they're talking about they're talking about putting uh, low income housing, uh, these millions of dollars in Charlotte. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> and why do you think they're doing that? And, and and these are the same people who want to build all these tear down trees and put up these low income housing. These are the same people that yell up in your face that they want to save the environment. They don't even want you driving your gas car. So which is it? Salute the um salute the Shatrick, man. You got the last word, Shatrick. Go ahead. I mean shit, I just came in right now. I mean, I saw you guys was having a stream right now uh, late, so I might as well, you know, say I just came off from work and stuff. Okay, yep. well join us tomorrow, man. Peace out. Oh, y'all just ended. Right. Yeah, we, we, I'm about to drop. I'm about to end it. I'm about to. I'm about to give the last word, man. Um. All right. Yeah. Um. So this sister turned into Candace Owens quick. Now, when you sisters come up here, you're expected to understand what the fuck we're talking about. No more of that playing dumb shit. And no more of that fucking crazy race baiting shit. You know what the fuck we mean when we say whatever the fuck we're saying. Because if we drop a fucking halfway house in the back of your fucking, in, the, in your backyard, all of a sudden, boom, fucking goddamn light bulbs start going off everywhere. The last stop for offenders before they make their way back into the civilian population. So what does this mean for people like Faye Council? It's time to move.
That's, that's what I told my husband. It's time to move. Now, the folks we spoke with say they're not against people going to prison having a second chance. They just wish that this facility would have been built in a non-residential area. In Fayetteville, Gilbert Bays, WREL News. And we a reached out to business charities. In a second chance to rob me again? And usually it's not a second chance. Usually it's like their 30th chance. Right. Yeah. Salute well, everybody, man. Time. That I'll wasn't your first offense. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace out. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night.